blockchain uh, technology uh, is, uh, is something that everyone's excited about. Right? But we have to remember that Bitcoin was one of the very few instances, and the other times when blockchain was used, they were basically Ponzi schemes. Right? So it's very important that, that if we go forward with it, we're sure that it's not going to be used to exploit. Now, you know, right now, uh, a very different approach to facilitating um, the transfer of capital in, in developing countries is Alibaba's approach. Alibaba has a very different approach. They keep all the data, but they've been able to move capital so quickly in China. You know, it takes three seconds, three seconds to transfer uh, up as much as $160,000 to anyone who's part of the Alibaba network because they can assess credit uh, worthiness in three seconds. The argument, of course, is that online activity is a far better indicator of credit worthiness than the traditional KYC practices. So if we could bring something like that to Africa, that could be transformative. So we're looking at all different technologies, yeah. whether it's something like Alibaba, you know, some kind of blockchain technology. But um, we've, you know, the, the, the most important thing is first do no harm. And since so many of these things have looked like Ponzi schemes, we've got to be very careful about that. Yeah. You're not a buyer at 5,200. <laughs> <laughs> Christine Lagarde said it was too expensive. Yeah, it's, too, it's very expensive.